What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 5 as the Ottomans. Japan just peaced out with France. Interesting. Nothing happened. So there you go. France actually continuing to forward settle them. That is pretty brave. We're building up our navy. So hopefully that will at least save us. And then eventually we'll just send them off, go capture everyone's capitals and have a good time. <laughs> In theory, how it should all go down. Not sure it's going to work quite like that, but we can only hope. Got to have some faith. Believe we can do this. Our religion is doing pretty strong. That is one thing we got going for us. How's it looking overall? It's already spread to all of France. It is, oh, oh, yeah, go on then. It is not... Okay, it's nowhere near as good. It's not even in the top four. Never mind. Okay, our religion sucks. Chain, I take it all back. Never mind. Okay, we're about to get a lighthouse here. We'll see if we get some extra bonuses for that. Some happiness. It's good because I probably want to set to one more city here. And that's the best place. There's two suggestions over here or over here. I think here would be a better spot. There's just more space. But it won't be coastal. Kind of annoying. We'll see how that works out. Uh, production. Let's get that settler. Four turns. That's pretty good. So down there. Okay, let's get navigation now so we can get really good boats as quickly as possible. Upgrade these galeuses. That'd be nice. Uh, nope, we need to save all our money right now. Because we don't have that much. I'm afraid. What is the World's Congress? What did they propose? China has already got... Do okay. If I thought Japan was scary... They're not that far ahead of us, but I mean the Zulu and China are miles ahead. It's kind of scary. Great. Just something else to look forward to. Ice gold is 10 from Japan. Let's do that one. Uh, I think I'll probably just automate my workers at this point. We have all these great, great people and nowhere to put them. I don't know how I've managed to get two artists. Is there anything that gives me... Okay, I want to get these done. I should really look into what I need to finish them. Ironworks would be the easiest to get. But for now, I just want money. <laughs> Nothing that gives me money. Um, I could build a caravel. Explore a bit more. But no. Is there anything that needs a work boat? No. It's not an option for not wanting anything. Well, there is technically. But an armory would be nice for future units. To get some extra XP. So I will take that. And then we can start trying to build the wonders in time. So that we can. Or the things that we need for the wonders in time. Although that's probably never going to happen. Because Bursa has terrible production. Great. It's probably going to be holding up a lot of our cities. Okay, cargo ship 7. Bursa demands salt. Well, you are not in a position to make demands. Small city. Oh, okay, come in. Okay, can we upgrade you now? Yes. Yes. You can't be upgraded. Here we go. That's better. Is something else? What am I looking for? I don't know. <laughs> There's no more units. Oh no, the spearmen. That'll have to be next turn though. Oh, there's a composite bowman up here I can do as well. Persia obviously have good production. Two wonders in two turns. Lovely. Just what we needed. No wonder there was no of the unique wonders available. We're just stealing them all away. Okay, caravels. Let's... I don't want to send them out too far. Let's have them explore a little bit. I'll actually take control. Just... Explore sort of the sea that's near to us. Okay, you need to come back this way. There we upgrade. Nope. Upgrade you. We're out of money again. Great. Okay, at least we're going to get the settler next turn. That's a start. How has this gone up? Oh, he was at 13. Now it's at 15. Maybe a golden age ended or something. Japan versus Byzantium. Nice. Just an even scarier Japan. 
Just what we were all asking for. Next game. Oh, upgrade it is set, suggesting settle there, and that would be coastal. And it would, based on we've got the resources we need, I think up there would be better. We also get some benefits from the tundra, which our other cities kind of neglected. Yeah, at least we're exploring our nearby sea. Okay, can't build any of these just yet. It's going to get even harder to build them in a minute, which is not ideal. Great work of writing. Is there another way that gives me a great work of art? No. Well, then I guess it's just more boats. I want more Galeases. Okay, well, yeah, we're going to have happiness issues. Great. It's not like it's early game anymore. It's turned 250. We're pretty deep in to this. So that's not a good sign. We're definitely struggling. Ah, <sighs> great. <laughs> just what we needed. Most literate. Are we in last? We're not last. That is... Okay, Byzantium is very far last. Two games in a row, Byzantium have been so bad that it's made me look a little bit better. I'm glad for that one. Thank you, guys. Exploring. Continue to explore. One more Galeus. There's no happiness buildings available. And it's about to hit zero, which won't be good. Also, okay, that they are about to finish the sugar plantation. That will help ever so slightly. Getting it up to eight. That's it. We don't really have any more resources. Did grab the sheep before France. That's nice. Okay, just starting to get an idea what's in these clouds. If there's any potentially good islands to settle out this way. And that one looks very tempting, actually. I'm tempted to even send this over here. I know it seems dumb, or it might be dumb, but it could work. I mean, I've seen it work with Samoa, but it is also, it's recommending everywhere but where I'm going. So I'm actually gonna come down there instead, be on the coast. That's where our strengths are gonna be, I think. Just getting as many boats as we can. Oh, the Dutch already have their good boats. This is this is tragic. This is bad. Not good. Not good at all. If this is a good island chain, it seems pretty bare. If we can find some good spots on islands, then maybe there's some hope. It's a good spot like here, but obviously Morocco will not let me hold on to that. Maybe over here, there could be a place. Potentially. Just maybe. A better spot to settle. <laughs> Let's keep exploring for now. Another new Galeus. Actually, I wasn't sure if it was going to get the promotion, but it did. It gets two promotions. That is nice. Range, movement. Just give it 30% more against naval units. Okay, let's quickly explore this just to make sure. We're not missing too much. You go that way. Build a zoo. There we go. Okay, we can build zoos now. That is good. That will save our happiness for a bit longer. This plantation is taking forever, but it's coming along. We will get there soon. Okay, yeah, as soon as we get frigates, we'll try and take Marrakesh. We'll probably need a few more boats yet, but we'll get them ready, all ready to be upgraded. It's going to cost money. Who's building a road? I asked him in the Dutch. I'm just going to... I know that was a waste of movement, but I would never live with myself if there was just one random speck out there forever. Grab as many zoos as we can. The plantation finally finished to save our happiness for now. It's nice. We'll see, if ideology isn't too far away. Like it's probably within a hundred turns, so that will at least spare us on that front from happiness issues as long as we pick the right one. So here we go. One more city there. We can maybe go for another one by that gold. In the coast, I'm re I really want this settle here, maybe. 
We could go here and hopefully grab that one day. It's a bit less likely. At least the production's much better here. Eight turns for the monument. I think it was 40 when we started building it over here. Don't know why it's that much better. But I'll take the eight turns. Okay. Caravel. Keep exploring. I don't want to go too far away. They're my only melee boats. Although I think privateers are separate. So we have to build them separately. There we go. You can see much more of the sea now. It feels a lot bigger. Now there's not... <laughs> it's not all covered up. It, it felt like we were all really close. But this is actually pretty large. That's good news. Oh my goodness. 27 population. That is... I wish. One day. Game will give me a spawn like that again. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe we'll never, never get so lucky. My spawns have been so bad in my last three games. Venice, my Mali Civ 6, and now this. They've all been pretty dreadful for different reasons. So that's always fun. We had literally no luxuries and we're in the tundra this time around. That is, that's great. That is just what we needed. In Mali, I'm just by myself. Like, <laughs> took me forever to get to anyone. And in Venice, I mean, it was just, we didn't have access to the sea. It was literally the one good thing about Venice is the sea. <laughs> and we couldn't actually get to anyone through the sea. Do we have a better idea of the map? I kind of want to bring the caravels back, just because I'm going to need them. They're not the ideal melee boat, but we need some. <laughs> okay, the workers. I don't know what this worker's doing. It keeps coming back and forth. Bro, Portugal's going to fall. It's gonna be awkward taking everyone's capitals when they're not they're not in the same plate. They're not um owned by them anymore. Okay, I'm gonna send these boats back in a second. Cause it's almost time. Although I'd probably have enough money to do it straight away. Three turns. Have to build a few of these. Specializes in attacking coastal cities, yeah, that's what we need. That is what we need. Open borders, yeah, go on then. Go on then. Hmm. Oh, poor old Byzantium. I've just been pushed down to that small little city over there. That is pretty brutal. Okay, we've explored more than enough now. In a very quick amount of time. Three, three, four... Six, okay. I need to finish things so that we can get this done, but I couldn't build a privateer. I didn't want to start a privateer, but I can't start a privateer just yet. So we'll just wait until we can. And obviously it's going to cost us quite a bit of money to upgrade the boat, so we may as well convert some of that production to gold. Even if it's only a little bit. These boats head back. Yeah, you're just automated. Do what you need to do. Worker. It'll be fine. I think, oh, they've already arrived here. That's kind of cool. I don't know what this one was doing. Just ignore it. Hmm. There we go. Navigation. Yeah, that's, that's far away. We're fine. <laughs> Pretty far away. Okay, how much is it to upgrade? 120, oh, we need iron. Okay, well, this is bad. <laughs> it's going to take a very long time for me to get five iron as well. Trade, wait, what? Oh, they only have two. Well, you're no use. Japan must have more than two. They have zero. What? How? They're massive. Persia have Gatling guns. Okay, well, I... We're not winning again. <laughs> Great. They're also making 200 gold per turn. Like, at least in my Venice game, I had some money <laughs> towards the end. Here, we don't even have mo any money. We literally have nothing. No one has enough iron either. For the one thing that was going to save me. Okay. Well, that sucks. We're going to have to take the French city first. 
which was, as we saw, notoriously difficult. It's probably not going to be, it's going to be even harder now. They're a lot stronger. So great. Just what we needed. Ripperoni. I said ideologies were 100 turns away. For everyone else, they're probably about 5 turns away. Especially Persia. They must be pretty close. We're just stuck here in the medieval ages, in the tundra. <laughs> Backwards savages. Great. Alright, there we go. Come back. And that is going to be it for this episode though, so as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.